Wednesday. We are in the car because I am about to venture out all by myself with the boys. Um, we're going to run to Mojava. We're going to go by the library and get my pickups. Maybe go to the park. Elise, can you tell what song you were just singing? A muffin guy. He was singing the muffin guy, the muffin guy. <laughs> all right, we're going to do this. We're going to drive. Let's go. Ready? Okay, we are back. The boys just went down for a nap. It was really, really good to get out of the house for a little while earlier. Elias does have some work to do when it comes to listening because when it was time to leave the park, he ran from me and ran from me and ran from me. Not cool. So I thought I would show you guys my little library pickup haul. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to sit and read. I only have about 40 pages left of my Murder, She Wrote book. I'm going to finish that um, while I enjoy a delicious scone from the M Cafe. I got maple pecan, and then I just made myself a uh, Breve Cafe au lait with vanilla and cinnamon. In a cute new mug. Looks so good. Okay, so to start here, uh, there is a, a Christian bookstore called Family, what is it? Family Christian Bookstore, I think. I don't know if they still exist. There used to be one in our town, but it's closed. So, But I still go on their website. And I was on their website looking for books for the kids for Easter. And so one thing I like to do a lot of times is if I can get books from the library, I don't purchase them because I can get them from the library. Uh, so this is one I had been eyeing for a while and I was able to get it through the library and I'm excited to read this one to the kids. The biggest story, how the snake crusher brings us back to the garden. And so it's a kid's book. There's only like a little bit of writing on each page and it is taking you through the entire Bible. Like that's what I believe it is anyway. Um, how it's one cohesive story from the fall in the garden all the way to Jesus. I think the art in here is super cool. I don't, I can't think, there was that book that I got during um, the day after Christmas and it was a nativity book and I feel like the art might have been similar to this so I'm wondering if it was the same author. 
So anyway, yes, excited to read that one. This one I came across because, again, on that same website, this author, Sally Joy, <laughs> Sally Lloyd-Jones, which I've never heard of, but she has children's books of, like, different psalms and things like that. So I found this one, Bunnies for a Spring, and we will read this one. I will maybe let you guys know how we like the books, too. So the art in here is less exciting to me, but... Um, Elias loves books, so I'm always so excited to get books for him. This one I just happened to come across on my library's website when I was um, looking at books. And I have no idea who these people are, but it's a true story of these ladies going around the world. So it's interesting, and it's, you know, a little kid's book. Like, there's not much writing or there's really not that many pages. And then this one I got for myself, Infographic Guide to the Bible, the Old Testament. I thought it'd be kind of cool to look through here. Like, first off, um, I tend to learn better with visual things. And then the other thing was with Hebrews being very Old Testament heavy, maybe there'd be some things in here that would be interesting that would go along with Hebrews. And then lastly... I got myself a Nancy Drew book, which I've read a couple now, but I was not a reader growing up at all. So I have to make up for that now as an adult. And so sometimes I do read like juvenile books, kids books and stuff for myself because I missed out on so much by not liking reading when I was younger. Alrighty, the boys are up from now. I was actually very productive today. I don't know if it was hormones that had me like so exhausted and tired or if it was I don't know but the last couple days was so exhausted tired had no motivation to do anything whatsoever last night I told Brandon I'm like I need the evening to do nothing and he was awesome took care of the boys took care of cleaning up everything and I just rested and today we got out of the house we got some fresh air and I am just feeling so much more myself while they were napping. I was actually trying to sit and read, but instead I was like working on my memory verse and washing dishes. I went and cleaned the bathroom. I took a shower and shaved my legs. Um, very, very productive nap time. So they just got up. I just came in the mail. So this brace, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I had talked to the people and my in-home physical therapist and they didn't know anything about like a barefoot. Well, here we have it. It's called Braceability. I literally just put it on, walked around a little bit, so I'll have to see. Um, you can see my, my pedicure toes. Um, I have to try it a little bit to see how it feels, but I'm excited to have that for when I am walking around the house, because that's most of the time. Like my brace that goes in my shoe. I don't go outside that much. Um, I did also get this other one from Walmart. This one was super cheap. It was only $8, but it doesn't have... So this strap, let's see if I can show you. This strap right here is what actually holds like my drop foot up. And this does not have that. So I don't know if it will actually even help. So I will try. I wanted something on not only when I'm walking around the house, but like when I'm resting, because when I put my feet up in the recliner, my foot just flops. And it can actually be very uncomfortable. So I wanted something to hold my foot up. And right now, this is doing it. This foot can do it all by itself. And this foot, it's definitely better than if I didn't have one. Brandon said when he came down and see me walking with it, he said he noticed a big difference in the way I walk. I feel like I was still kind of walking weird, but I think it's because I naturally keep picking that foot up and have to almost get used to walking normal again so very productive day it's only 3 30 bible study tonight i don't have much else to say oh i have something else I'm wanting to color so i ordered these uh elias is just about to come down and maybe we'll color together these are mine of course he is still strongly in the crayon age <laughs>
It's actually daylight this oh, time. Yeah, this so I feel like it's been a while since I've seen you. It's been. It's like. What did we learn tonight at Bible study? We learned that Jesus is our faithful high priest and that he provides rest for us, eternal rest. Yes. We also learned that the verse about um, oh, that was so good. Uh, uh, the piercing, the God's word is alive, act, and active. alive and active, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to even joint joints and marrow. And, yeah. Um, it's not just like happy i mean like it obviously is, the bible is our sword of the spirit but it's also um really cutting to our intentions and our um motives like our heart condition he's cleaning us out basically. yeah she yeah. used like she said like a spiritual scalpel yeah. that was really good yeah <laughs> but we can trust because he's a great physician and he would you say like every cut or whatever that is made is like good and for our good purposes yeah and it's covered by grace yeah everything we've done all right well good night good and night. goodbye <laughs>